Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Social Quiz Dancing, our tiny little bit of trivia coming to you every Wednesday night to help keep your brain in shape while we're all um, stuck apart and the library is closed. Um, of course, we are open for curbside checkout and we're open always for virtual programs. Um, later this week, we're going to be sending out a survey about our virtu virtual programs um, where you can tell us what you've liked so far and what you'd like to see us do um, in the fall and for the rest of the year. So um, if you get that in your email, um, if you're on our newsletter list, you'll you'll get that. Um, and if you follow us on our social media accounts, which presumably you do because you're watching us now, um, then um, take a few minutes and, and fill that out and see um, uh, what the library can do for you and let us know what's been working. So that will be great. Um, all right, we're gonna begin the quiz now. Um, as always, we have uh, 15 questions. We have five questions in the general knowledge round. We have five questions in a connections round where I give you four apparently random clues and you give me the hidden connection. And then we have five questions in a uh, special round that changes every week. And we have a cool one for you this week, I think. Um, so why don't we start things off with the general knowledge round. If you get one of these correct, give yourself uh, a point um, or give yourself however many points you think you deserve because, um, you know, you're at home. Um, if you'd like to let us know how you're doing in the quiz and what you've what you've done well at so far, let us know your point totals and stuff like that. Um, and if you have any quiz questions you'd like me to read on the show or any ideas for special rounds, um, I could really use them. <laughs> Been doing quizzes for like 15 weeks now, um, something like that. Maybe more than that, like eight, I don't know. Um, but I could certainly use some questions. Uh, so you can email ryan at desmondfishlibrary.org or you can DM any of our social media accounts. Um, all right, so let's start things off with the general knowledge round. First question. Rock band The Doors took their name from an essay collection called The Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley, author of Brave New World, who himself took that phrase from within The Marriage of Heaven and Hell by which English author who lived from 1757 to 1827. So, The Doors took the name uh, from The Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley. He took that phrase from The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. Who wrote The Marriage of Heaven and Hell? Number two. In France, what is Le Petit Robert? The Little Robert. What is that? Number three. Where would you find Disappointment Island, Fabulous Island, Inexpressible Island, Shag Island, Circumcision Island, and Deception Island? Where would you find those amusingly titled islands? Number four. Where would you work if your job title was Chief of Disguise? The answer is not the Desmond Fish Public Library, unfortunately. And number five, where are shadows darker? On the moon or on earth? So does the moon or the earth have darker shadows? Okay, now we're gonna move into the connections round where I give you four apparently random clues and you tell me what the hidden connection is. So if I said um, dung, scarab, uh, George and Ringo, you would tell me that they're all beetles. I need a new example, I use that every week, but it works. Okay, so give yourself five points if you get it after a single answer, um, a single uh, clue has been shown. Give yourself three points if you get it after two clues have been shown. Give yourself uh, two points if three clues have been shown and give yourself one point if you see them after all of the clues. Or give yourself cl uh, points based on how hard you think it was or, um, you know, all the good self-care you've done during the day or whatever makes you happy. Um, all right, so number one. Colonel Plug. Number two, Parak, the spring man of Prague. The Mad Gasser of Mattoon, and spring -heeled Jack. What connects those four clues? 
Next. The Mysterious Stranger. The Fairy Queen. The Mystery of Edwin Drood. And Kublai Khan. I said that weird. Kublai Khan. Some of these got moved onto different sheets of paper. Yikes. Should have caught that one. Okay, well. We have Oxidane. Hydrol. Dihydrogen monoxide. And H2O. Oxidane, hydrol, dihydrogen monoxide, and H2O. Okay. Next one. We have current, clock. I'm not going to bother revealing these because, you know, I mess this up. Current, clock, ropes, and grain. Current. Clock, ropes, and grain. And lastly, sorry about this. <laughs> lastly, we have book, the blur, beak, the book, fork. The Bluth and Bach the Blub. Book the Blue, Bake the Blook, Fork the Bluff, and Bach the Blub. What connects those four clues across multiple pages, apparently? Okay. Um, <laughs> So that is uh, the Connections round. Now we come to our special round. It's different every single week. Um, and this week uh, is some how-to things, so you can learn a little something. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read you the instructions for doing a thing, and you have to tell me what that thing is. So, um, you know, I could say, uh, insert into microwave, set for five minutes, eat. And, and you would tell me, make a pizza. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you the instructions, you tell me what the instructions are for, okay? Okay, number one. One, remove a skull from neck. Two, insert wooden ball. Three, sew openings shut. Four, boil and dry with hot rocks and sand. Five, rub down with charcoal ash. What are those instructions for? Number two. One, trim for structure and style November through February. Two, cut joints so they have only three to four nodes. Three, thin out the crown and canopy. Four, remove suckers. Five, cover the cuts with wound paste. Six, Water. Number three. One, tilt your head up. Two, pinch yourself on the skin between your thumb and pointer finger. Three, tense up your muscles. Four, make a neutral face. Five, blink rapidly. Six, change your thoughts. And number four, one, boil the potatoes. Two, saute vegetables. Three, add the ground beef, then Worcestershire sauce and broth. Five, mash the cooked potatoes. 
Five, layer the meat mixture and mashed potatoes in a casserole dish. Six, bake in oven. What are those instructions for? And number five, the final one. One, turn it off and turn it back on again. Okay, so that's our quiz for this week. Um, those are all the questions. Now, if you would like me to, I'm gonna read the answers right now. I'm gonna tell you all the answers to these questions. Um, so if you don't wanna know the answers, pause the quiz, go somewhere else, come back to it later. Um, if you do wanna know the answers, then um, stick around after this explanation and I will start reading you the answers. Okay, so let's go back to the general knowledge round. And my first question to you was that rock band The Doors took their name from an essay collection called The Doors of Perception, written by Aldous Huxley. He took that phrase from within The Marriage of Heaven and Hell by which English author who lived from 1757 to 1827? Um, and uh, the author of The Marriage of Heaven and Hell is William Blake. Good old William Blake. Uh, number two, in France, what is Le Petit Robert? And that is the dictionary. So in France, if you asked for a little Robert, you would be given the dictionary. Um, number three, where are Disappointment Island, Fabulous Island, Inexpressible Island, Shag Island, Circumcision Island, and Deception Island? Those are all in Antarctica. So those are all little islands um, named by researchers in Antarctica. Lovely, irreverent researchers. Um, where would you work if your job title was Chief of Disguise? And believe it or not, this is actually a, a real job title um, at the CIA, Chief of Disguise. Number five in general knowledge round, final question. Um, where are shadows darker? On the moon or on Earth? Um, shadows are darker on the moon, and the reason is because they don't have air that scatters light. So, um, so the, there's more, um, there's less sort of scattering of light, and thusly shadows are darker. The light goes where it's expected to go. It's not scattered. So, um, moon has darker shadows than Earth does. Okay, and now um, in our connections round, I give you four apparently random clues. You have to tell me the hidden connection. So connection the first. What connects Colonel Plug, Parak the Springman of Prague, the Mad Gasser of Mattoon, and spring -Heeled Jack? And these are all sort of folk anti-heroes. Um, so probably anti-heroes or villains that sort of didn't really exist, um, possibly instances of mass hysteria. So Colonel Plug was um, uh, a pirate um, in sort of uh, early America, um, like a riverboat pirate. Um, Parak, the spring man of Prague, um, was a man who could jump extremely high and had knives for his fingers who... Um, would terrorize, um, actually terrorize Nazis um, during the occupation. The Mad Gasser of Mattoon uh, was in the Midwest and it was, um, people kept reporting uh, smelling gas that would make them pass out and seeing figures running away from their house that would sort of spray gas into their houses. Um, there's actually a, a pretty cool theory that the, the Mad Gasser of Mattoon was an actual person um, that was actually going around gassing people, but it could have been. Um, mass hysteria as well. And spring Jack was a, a villain in Victorian um, London um, who would jump um, very, very high and occasionally was demonic, occasionally was just a dude um, who would sort of terrorize women um, and families with, with being able to jump really high, I guess. Um, so in, in, interesting that, that two of these were, were springy villains. Um, yeah. Next, the mysterious stranger, the fairy queen, the mystery of Edwin Drood, and Kublai Khan. And these are all unfinished works um, by major writers. So the mysterious stranger was something that Mark Twain worked on um, most of his life, um, but never actually finished. Um, the fairy queen was um, 
was meant to be um, in 12 parts. It actually only consists of six parts, and still the longest poem in the English language. Um, the Mystery of Edwin Drood, of course, was um, was what Charles Dickens was was serializing at the time of his death, so nobody knows who killed Edwin, Edwin Drood. Um, and Kublai Khan, um, Coleridge's um, famous poem that was uh, ruined when he got a person from Porlock interrupted him. Uh, stately Pleasure Dome decree. Uh, person from Porlock, incidentally, may have been a fictional person, um, a, a folk person that, that never actually existed. And lots of people say it was just because Coleridge, you know, couldn't finish the poem. I'm distracted by something. Possibly opium. Um, all right, next we have Oxidane, Hydrol, Dihydrogen Monoxide, and H2O. These are all different scientific terms for water. So all of these are different ways of, um, of saying water. Uh, our next one, current, clock, ropes, and grain. And these can all be preceded by against the to make an idiom. So against the current, against the clock, against the ropes, against the grain. And this, this last one, um, number five, if you've been on the internet this week, you've probably got this in, in a heartbeat. So we had, um, Boke the bleu, bake the bloc, bork the bluff, and bock the blub. Um, so one thing that took the internet by storm this week was um, the city of Tampa in Florida painted a mural, um, a private, well, not the city, a, a private organization painted a mural um, that was supposed to be back the blue. Um, and it had sort of stylized um, blue line flags all over it. Um, and um, unfortunately it came out N next to unreadable. And um, so this week was spent with, with people on the internet trying to read this thing that said Back the Blue. And these are the, um, the four most popular misreadings um, by Twitter mentions. Um, so that is this week on the internet. All right, lastly, in round, in round three, um, I gave you some instructions for doing something and you had to tell me what it was that I was instructing you to do. Um, so the first one was remove skull from the neck, insert wooden ball, so opening shut, boil and dry with hot rocks and sand, and rub down with charcoal ash. And those were, uh, of course, that's how to make a shrunken head. Um, a thing that if you didn't already know, uh, now you do. Number two, trim for structure and style November through February. Cut joints so they only have three to four nodes, thin out the crown and canopy, remove suckers, cover the cuts with wound paste and water, and that was how to prune a bonsai. Interestingly enough. Uh, number three, tilt your head up, pinch yourself on the skin between your thumb and point your finger, tense up your muscles, make a neutral face, blink rapidly and change your thoughts. And that was the result of a very sad Google um, which was how to stop crying. Number four, boil the potatoes, saute vegetables, add the ground beef, then Worcestershire sauce and broth, mash the cooked potatoes, layer the meat mixture and mashed potatoes in a casserole dish and bake in oven. That is just how to make shepherd's pie because I'm really hungry and I haven't had a good shepherd's pie in a really long time. I really like a shepherd's pie. That's how you make a shepherd's pie. If you want to make me a shepherd's pie, you could leave it at the library and then I would eat it, um, which would be great. And now you know how to do it. Um, and lastly, which only one instruction, turn it off and turn it back on again. If you've um, done computer help with me at any point, I've probably told you to do that. Um, so basically fix anything is, um, anything, you know, computer related is, is a good answer for that. Give yourself a point. But if you said fix the Voyager 2 spacecraft, that would also 
get you five points. Give yourself five points if you got that. Um, NASA earlier this year had to fix the Voyager 2 spacecraft, something that took off a really long time ago, but they're still in contact with it. It wasn't working. What they did is they turned it back, they turned it off and were able to remotely turn it back on again and it fixed itself, um, which, is a f which is just fantastic. Um, anyway, um, thank you for joining us this week. We will see you next week, as always. Um, at six o'clock for next week's episode of Social Quizdancing. So until then, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, be kind to other people, and I will see you right back here. Bye. <laughs>